Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Mutsy Table Studio here on behalf of My Creative Year. And of course, you know to use the hashtag My Creative Year if you need to find anything for that group. Yes, it is dark. No, there is no music. The lens cover is on because I'm having to hold this in my hand and I don't want to show you what I'm going to show you until I'm ready to show you, which is now. This is my muse for February of 2019. It is about your art project, but it's not art. Focus, focus, there we go. All right, so what we have here is my craft table and my little camera, I don't think it's a, it's a sure shot or something, I don't know, it's not anything really expensive. And it's on a tripod. It's also facing what is called a light box or a photo box. This was on my Christmas list and my darling sister-in-law bought it for me, Polly. I am tickle pink. This is about my art, but it's not an art thing. This helps my art look much nicer. So what I'm showing, I'm, let's see, my hands are reflecting inside the camera, which is inflecting inside the camera, sorry. All right, so this is what it does. It's a nylon. You hear it crinkling and then it's kind of like felty feeling on the back side it's really soft and it folds up and it goes into a bag and it comes with a bunch of accessories that you can do to make your stuff look better so I set this on my desk and then I straighten out the little cloth that comes with it I put my art in here and I take photos of my art for um, any videos where I can tack it on the back of a video for a light show, I mean a light show, a slideshow, or to put on in my Etsy store. So this is to show you that it is about your art, but it's not an art project. This is to enhance the way your art looks. This is to enhance the beauty of what it is that you have created. So let me pull back. I can't, it's a little hard for me to show you, let's see, there's light behind me. It's a kind of hard for me to show you all the accessories. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this off. If I can find how to do it. Here we go. <laughs> I'm used to this being upside down on a, on a wooden piece where it's screwed into the wood and looks down on my hands, not this way. All right, so I'm going to turn this off. Then I'm going to show you all the parts that come with this, tell you how much it cost and where I got it. Very cool. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had to put everything away because I want you to see how it was packaged up. It is um, some kind of a bag that has clips on the front. These are the backgrounds that have Velcro on them that you can Velcro to the inside of the actual light box itself to change your color of the background. There is a white one, which is usually the one that I use the most. Then there is a navy blue one and a red one that are wound up on a chipboard tube. So you get three different backgrounds. You can do white, navy blue, and red. Or you can make your own. All right, so on the front of the bag, it says Limo Studio. On the front of the bag, you have these deep pockets. And each of the two outer pockets, there is a miniature light for you to do lighting above, behind, or on the side, or maybe in the front of the light box so that you don't have shadows when you take photos. This one has not been used, but this one has. Has a nice, ele it's electric. Wait, should I show the cord? <laughs> it's electric, and this is the way it looks. It's an LED light. Um, it has legs on it. Let me see if I can unscrew the legs. It has a place where you can get the legs to come out at the bottom to set it up. And then you screw it back up in there and then the legs usually, you just push them back up in there. So this thing moves around up and down. There is a way to tighten it or loosen it here on the side. So each one of these outer side pockets has one of these lights in a lovely bag. All you got to do is just shove it back in there when you're done using it. In the middle section, 
There is another bag, and I'll show you what was in this bag. There's a business card uh, so that you know where to have your problems answered if there's some kind of a mishap with this. It shows you the box, shows you the lighting utensils, and the last thing I'm going to show you. Shows you how to set it up step by step. Tells you what to do with these things. How to replace the light bulb. How to use the tabletop for no shadows. Cool, huh? And it shows you in the back um, the rolls of the fabric and, you know, this kind of stuff that you need for this. So this was in the middle pocket. Along with... Let me take this out of here. I have something in here. Along with a miniature tripod. It's very small. No big deal. Very small. But the cool thing about this is, is this thing right here, see this? Goes up and down. So that if you're the person who takes photos or records videos with your phone, it will put any phone with a case in here. And there's still room to move. Then you set the little tripod up. And again, you can tighten or loosen the tripod legs here. And you can use the little tripod to record or to take photos with your cell phone. Isn't that very cool? I just love it. No, I don't have an expensive cell phone, but, you know, just showing you. All right, so there's that. So you get the two LED lights. You get the two fabric pieces, the box itself, and the little stand with it, all for $40. Can you believe that? I paid, uh, well, I didn't pay for it. My sister-in-law paid $40 for it, and it came from Amazon.com. Um... It didn't take long to get it, I don't guess, because she gave it to me for Christmas. Not really sure what the what the shipping time is on it. But if you don't want to put these tubes in here anywhere, you can just tuck them underneath the top lid. Use the basic little clippy-doos. And it's got a handle on the top of it so that it's portable. And you can take your little portable studio with you anywhere or if you're going to spend a whole day shooting and then you're not going to shoot any more material like photos or videos all you have to do is pack it right back up and it's good to go you can set it in a corner it takes up little or no room believe me I know because my craft room is not that stinking big and this just sits on the floor next to the desk out of the way and then I just take it out and use it when I need to now I don't have a desk that has enough depth to it to put the box up here from all the other stuff that's on the desk so that's why I have it sitting on the edge of the desk my tripod with my little Canon sure shot so I don't necessarily need to use the little tripod all the time but it's nice to know it's there in case I do need it okay so that is my muse for February for my creative year this like I said is about your art but it's not an art project this is something that will enhance your art because you're going to take nicer photographs I have not quite managed how to keep from getting shadows and everything but that's okay I really don't care you see enough of the art inside there that it's all right I took pictures with it um, and it's super duper easy set up my tripod put my camera on it put the stuff inside with the white background which is velcros to the back of the box and you can drape it out or make it you know where it comes even with the with the table and the box like a square um, and it's great it's super duper user friendly for somebody who is not a photographer and i really like it so thank you polly for my merry christmas present and thanks, everybody, for watching my Creative Year Muse for February 2019. Thanks, everyone. Bye.